Greetings all, Vanny here for Cancer's Weekly Message. Cancer, I hope you guys are having a good week so far. If you wanted a personal reading or access to my crystal jewelry, you can visit my website down here. The first card that came out for you, Cancer, is the Page of Cups. Someone is delivering you the opportunity of fulfillment, joy, and compassion, but it is up to you to receive it and to know that you are worthy of receiving it because that is where so many of us myself included get stopped up in obtaining our blessings and our our rewards for our work and what we have done we do not receive that because there is a part of us that does not feel like we are worthy and therefore it blocks anything that is trying to tell us that we deserve it. This carries along the message of your pre-shuffle card of Seraph of 963. Being in the energy of joy that is your soul shine what makes you happy, what lights you up and sparks your enthusiasm for life, being in that energy helps this page of cups bring about that beautiful blessings that you're looking for, that you're desiring. It helps because when you are in your soul shines frequency, you are closer to the frequency of divine unconditional love because you are vibrating in what makes you uniquely and beautifully happy. There is justice coming. You do not need to worry about who it is that has hurt you in the past. Spirit will ensure that karma comes around and they have the life they deserve. You do not have to lower yourself to anyone's level to out of hope or desperation to see someone get their justice, to see someone get the payback that they deserve. You do not have to lower yourself to that. Because to send that energy out there, you have to fully be in that low vibration and mean that. And that is not for your soul's greatest and highest good. With the Six of Pentacles, Spirit is reminding you that you pour over your life the energy with what you say, the words that you carry in your heart and mind, and the intentions behind the actions that you do. So that is the, 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 the other reminder that Spirit will ensure that they are taken care of. You do not have to lower yourself to another low vibrational energy out of fear that someone else is going to get hurt or that this person is going to come back. Instead, pour that beautiful energy that you carry over something that you desire, something that you wish, because you are being freed from the judgment from the past situation that made you feel in this stagnancy that you were not strong enough, smart enough, or capable enough to do that thing that you wanted to do. We have all faced that voice of doubt, whether it comes from ourselves or our environment. We know what that voice sounds like. Hold your centers coming out for you. It initially came out in reverse, and I can absolutely understand why it would be difficult to hold your grounding point in these moments because it is a very scary, cumbersome time. Look outside, look at the news. There's a lot going on that it's just like, okay, how do I even deal with this? In the frequency of God, in that 963 hertz of just divine love and joy and finding what it is that makes you happy. And maybe what it is that you need in that moment to hold your center is to just pull back from everyone else and curl up into a ball and remind yourself that it's okay to not be okay. You can't be that incredible badass all the time. You have divine grace, the law of efficiency coming out for you. You cannot always give 100% to every single thing because then you have no reserves left for an emergency and nothing left to give to your own wishes and your own desires. You have divine talents within you and you have these abilities. It is all in how you are choosing to move forward in these lives and how you are choosing to carry yourself forward. I don't feel like there is going to be a lot of hesitancy for cancers here. I feel like it is more of cancers feeling lost without knowing what that next step is, without knowing what this next movement is leading towards. 
And that faith that you build has to grow over time. So I'm not, abs I'm absolutely not saying that you just have to fully, you have to full send this shift or whatever it is, but do trust that whatever is occurring is occurring for your greatest and highest good. It does not mean that you cannot take an active role and part of your life and how it is developing. One part of holding your center is knowing what you are moving forward on, what you are moving towards. Maybe it has something to do with healing the earth and protecting the lands that we find. Maybe it has something to do with how your family has lived in the past generations and so you are creating a shift, you are creating a, a lifestyle difference that is more efficient, that where the parents don't have to work so many hours to take care of everything because they either found a way to make enough money or they lowered their overhead costs by being clever and living in clever places. There is so much to you right now, Cancer, but I feel like it is very easy for you to be overwhelmed by all of this shifting. And what I want to remind you in, in the holding your center is the power of grounding and this release because you can give to the earth what is holding you down so that you can ascend with that knowledge and those messengers that are coming in for you and around you. You have divine talents indeed. I'm being very drawn to the cloud behind his head. It looks like, to me at least, a bear or a wolf, or like a lion or a bear behind him. And initially I feel like that might be someone challenging you, someone testing you to see if, are you really gonna do all of that? And they're only doing it because they think you will fail. They think that you're going, that this is just a whim and you don't have the energy to carry it through and to push it through. So they want to be there to laugh and say that they stopped you or that they blocked you. They want to be there to say that they claim, to claim that energy that you had to give up. But they are going to be sorely mistaken. They are going to be very, very mistaken because you have already mirrored that dark energy back to them. That is one part of my life that we have been working on recently is mirroring and directing energy back to the origin point and it has created a very serious effect in the people that have challenged us. People that have wished ill upon you when you mirror it back all you are doing is giving them back the energy that they tried to send to you. Like the return to sender and when you see someone's life to start to fall apart, you'd be like, oh, it was you that was sabotaging me. And this isn't something to like cause a fight. I'm bringing this up so that you can be aware that there may be someone consciously or unconsciously working against you. And you have the power very easily to redirect it back to them. All you have to do is literally state, I reflect what negativity they send to me. And this motion here, where you press your uh, middle and ring finger and hold the index and pinky up, is a reflective energy motion. Like, literally, you pull it from yourself. Anything that you tried to give to me, I return to you. It is not mine. It does not belong to me. I make it stronger and give you back what you tried to give me. And this goes as well for positive emotions, but not everyone wants to carry those. And so right now, Cancer, Spirit wants to make sure that you are focusing on what makes you happy and honing those divine talents that you have because they are a lot stronger and will take you farther than you may think right now. Have a beautiful day, my love.